Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here with a little impromptu video today. I started crafting, then I thought, just do a video on it. So here I am, and you can see what I've made. Uh, the ones I'm going to make on camera, I'm going to be doing much fancier than this, but this is the basic idea. It's a DIY puzzle piece. I do have puzzle piece dies, but I know not everyone else will. And this is an idea I saw a good few years ago. But, uh, and I honestly don't know who it was and I have searched and looked and I can't find the video so if you have seen this how to make your own puzzle piece let me know because I'd love to link it in this one so yeah I used a Tim Holtz stamp for this because I saw the stamp and I just thought that's cute and little and this puzzle piece idea came to mind well it came to mind because I'm going to be using a puzzle piece in an upcoming collage over at weekend and a stamp puzzle piece yeah here we go and i remembered this visit video i'd seen so i've had this in happy mail it's the tim holtz components collection stamp and i love it so thank you craft fairy i don't know who the craft fairy is i've got an idea but yeah th this person has not let themselves be known so thank you so much and they also sent me these the tim holtz uh botanical layers it's the flowers and the butterflies. And yeah, they just know me. I love flowers, I love roses, I love butterflies. And also these, I won't be using these today, but I will be using the roses and butterflies. The teeny tiny, itsy bitsy little clips. They are just the sweetest. I think they'll be getting hoarded on my own journals. Yeah, they will. <laughs> so thank you so much to the craft fairy. Right, so I'll show you how I made these. We'll move these out of the way now because I'm not using these today. I just wanted to show them you. But you'll, like I say, you'll see that one again in an upcoming video. And then I will say, if you want to know how to make your own puzzle pieces, look at this video. So there you go. Right, I've got this collage master board. I did something last week. This is my memory. I can't remember what I made last week on a collage master board. Clueless. But I know I made two of these and this is the spare one. So I'm going to use it to make puzzle pieces today. I'm just going to stick this out at way while ink dries. I'm going to let the ink dry on it. It's a new stamp. It apparently conditions your stamps. Right, so before I cut my puzzle pieces to size... I'm going to have a look in these because I can't remember what size. I've had a pack of these a couple of years ago and I've only got a few left. So I want to look how big they are. Oh, that's lovely. I like that. And which ones? Oh, I like that. I like, I like them all. So stop saying that with everyone you take out. Really like that. <laughs> really like them. So if you've not seen these before, yeah, you're going to get a bit of a look at some of them today, aren't you? I'm not going to show you them all. There's so many and they last forever. I'm just deciding how big, because these are going to be bigger puzzle pieces than those, I reckon. I think that's a bit tall and skinny for a puzzle piece, although you can have tall, skinny puzzle pieces. I'm not being a puzzle piece elitist or, do you know what I mean? I'm not judging. Oh, a little butterfly might go well. I don't want to make my puzzle pieces then find out none of these fit on. I don't want to use that one or that one. I like that one. But I don't want to use it. <laughs> uh, that one's yummy. I like that one. So I'm going to think I may get six. I may get six. I may not. We just don't know, do we? Because we haven't made them yet. I'm not going to do just a butterfly one because, yeah, Treen, you don't like butterflies. That I'm shocked. Shocked, just shocked. One of my subscribers, Treen, she watches all my videos, leaves comments, and she actually let me know yesterday that she doesn't like butterflies. I'm like, oh, you must really love me then. <laughs> if you're watching me make all these butterfly projects and you don't like butterflies, have I got two same there? No, they're all different. So we'll use them. But that's He just really wants to go on one, doesn't he? And he does. So, I'm going to put, if I put my tall ones all at bottom and my shorter ones at the top, I may get away with cutting it in half. 
Because, yeah, I don't mind if the flower overhangs the hole in the puzzle piece, but I do want to see some of the holes in the puzzle piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this up into... Mm, maybe I'll have a bit left over. In fact, that bit's a bit boring at that side, isn't it? So let's... I'm going to cut it off there. And then I'm going to cut there. Yeah, and then I'm going to cut there, and then we'll see what happens. I'm going to put them in order, although I'm not going to keep... <laughs> Chances of me keeping these bits of card in order as I cut them are mm, slim to zero, I would say. Slim to zero, but let's get it away. So I'm just going to chop where my mark is. Wish that lifted up further. I don't know if I broke it at some point. So, is it supposed to lift up further? I really don't know. Choppity chop. Now, if I did it upside down, I could see it mark at bottom. I know this. Do I remember this? Do I ek remember this? There we go. <laughs> which one went at which end? Look at that, that end. Oh, at that middle, I ain't got a clue. I'm clueless. Clueless. I, but I think you know that by now. There we go. So, you're going to go top there and bottom there. I'll get the little chopper out for this. And I'm going to chop these two in half. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, this was slightly smaller than letter on, and A4, this piece of paper. It was roughly about seven and a half inches by uh, 11. Roughly. All right, so we'll chop you next. Choppity chop. No idea why I feel the need to say choppity chop. And again, quite often I've no idea why I feel the need to say a lot of things. Oh, that's a nice big chompy one. I think I might like you better on top. I don't know why, I just do. Choppity chop. Right, put your chopper away and let's make these look like jigsaw pieces. Puzzle pieces, you call, I don't, do you call them jigsaws in US? We just call them jigsaws. Right, I might trim that one down a bit more. Let's start with the sunflower because that's going to fill that space nicely. So this is a big puzzle piece. So I'm going to go ahead and get a bigger circle punch. This is my three quarter inch and that's my inch. I think inch might be a bit big. If I start with this three quarter inch and I think it looks too small, I can go in and punch one a bit bigger, can't I? Yeah. So on this one, I'm going to do one definitely there. And I don't mind it overhanging at the top. I might just do top and side on this. Yeah, do top and side. And I think it may have to be a bigger puzzle piece, bigger hole punch. I don't know, though. I don't know. I can't decide. I don't want to chop that number 63 off. I like it there. So I've just chopped, can you see I've left about a millimetre, about two millimetre, about a sixteenth of an inch. Yeah, that needs bigger holes. So I'm going to come in and do that again. I might regret this. Mm. Let's put the flower on and see. No, I think those holes might be big enough. Yeah, they're big enough. Yeah, yeah. Stop talking yourself out of it. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that sharp bit off. There you have a puzzle piece. If you've got big puzzle piece dies, use them. If you haven't got any, have. If you haven't, if you haven't got any, you can do this. Or just alter an actual puzzle piece. I don't have any big puzzle pieces. I don't have grandchildren. I'm not sad about that. My kids are only 15. If we had grandchildren, I would not be happy. <laughs> I just wouldn't be happy. Uh, yeah. And the 15, so we don't have many of these big puzzles kicking about. 
and pff, with current world situation i've not felt comfortable going rummaging in charity shops i have now been a couple of times but i've not gone i've not gone for a big rummagey delve i still can't decide if i like the size of that hole yeah yeah i do so let's get some ink on it i'm going back to my old favorite the walnut stain in an oxide and we're going to need some perhaps a label perhaps a yeah one of them <laughs> sentiment a word yeah one of them struggling for words uh, yeah i think this will look better once the inking's on but yeah, yummy, yummy. I mean, you don't have to make them out of a collage masterboard. You can make them out of anything you want. Book page, any digital that you print on a piece of card. Anything, just anything. Anything, anything. Yeah, I'm quite happy now with the size of that. I quite like it. But yeah, definitely needs a sentiment. I think I need a bit of ink as well on edges of toad Tim. Wee. Yeah, this is shiny, so if you put your distress ink on and you want to rub it off straight away, yeah, it's going to rub off. It will stay, though, if you leave it on. I've not had trouble with it coming off once it's dried. Is there any bits? No, need... no, but sometimes little bits need popping out. But that's fine. Right, let's get the box of labels. I've had a bit of a... Rum uh turn around again things are in slightly different places and that's that and i'm gonna get me timmy words might actually put a big phrase on what's that that's tickets that's labels i don't fancy doing any more collage on it Ooh, that'll be nice with yellow won't it like that yeah we can have the label under the flower instead of over it. Makes a change, doesn't it? And let's put some words on. Do I want white? Do I want black? Do I want vintage? I think I want this one. What, what can we say on this one? Live, create, tell the story. I like that. And I'm going to cut it in half. Skizzers. Live, create, tell the story. And I'm going to stick this on with my art glitter glue. Because, because I am. Oh, where's my art glitter glue? I've tied it up. It should be where it lives. It doesn't happen to be. I wonder if my daughter's borrowed it again. She's been, uh, yeah, she has. She's been altering a denim jacket and some jeans and also... A pair of trousers and using my glue. I'm just going to bob and get it. That's where it is. Here we go. We have glue. Yeah. I forgot I'd lent it to her. She's looking after it. <laughs> she better do. There'd be hell to pay if she didn't. Right. I think I want this little... These words up here. I'm not going to bother inking around edge of these. But I am putting glue on because they don't stick fabulously well. Especially not when you've had your grubby fingers random oh it should be live create at top and then tell the story i'm telling my story too early silly woman so if i put live create over that where that glue is phew then i'm going to need a bit more glue on here there you go Whee. live create tell the story yeah, like that. Is it straight-ish? It's really hard to tell at this angle. Live, create, tell the story. I like that. So now I'm happy to stick these on. I'll go with art glitter. Why overcomplicate things? I use so much less of this, you know, now I decant it into one of these teeny tiny bottles. I reckon my little bottles have paid for themselves. They really have. That 
watch you there. And then we'll stick you on. Whee. So we need to make a couple of different shaped jigsaws for other flowers. So yeah, I said I don't mind the flower coming up over. I don't want to cover the number 63. I don't know why, I just don't. I like it there. Oh, I've gone over to tell the story. Hutch down a bit. Should have put the flower on before the words. It all worked out, right? Yeah, should have put the, fla uh, the flower on before the story. The story. <laughs> I can't even, can't even speak now. Right, come here, old baby wipe. I know I had one hanging about. Here we go. I keep one for the express purpose of being dry. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a wet one for being dry. Yeah, this one's just about dry. Wee. I quite like that one. Right, let's make a different shaped one. Here we go. Ooh, this would make a nice little squat one, wouldn't it? So would that. I could make like three holes on that, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I want to use my three quarter inch punch again. So I'm going to put one there again, just a smidgen. A couple of millimetres between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Wee. And then just trim these bits off. This is a genius idea. I can't thank the lady enough who'll come up with this. I do that's all I do remember it were a lady. Wee. I've thought of doing these a couple of times and then forgot about them. And each time I've gone searching for the video, could not find it. It'd be fabulous if the lady herself was watching. But it'd be silly not to do them just because I couldn't remember where I'd seen them, wouldn't it? Because you might not have seen them. Wee. Wee. <laughs> We've got a wee in there. They just come out. Gorgeous. And get the edges inked up. Yeah, it's a jigsaw piece, so we've got to leave some offensive corners on. Yeah. Ooh. I might stop thinking corners are offensive now. I've had to leave some on. It just wouldn't look like a jigsaw piece, would it, if I rounded them off? Oh, I don't know, it might do. You can get all sorts of shapes, can't you? But they all tend to have these interlocking. Well, I know not everyone does. There's an exception in the to every rule. If I'd said that to my daughter, youngest, Rachel, she'd be like, she'll have seen a jigsaw made out of triangles. She would have. She really would. There probably is one, having said that. I didn't just invent it. <laughs> I've been having a rest since they invented sliced bread. Oh, I like that. Do I? I don't know. Do I like it? Like that. That is very plain, isn't it? So this needs something else on it. Yeah, I think it needs a different flower. I'm, now I've put those holes in, I'm really not liking that flower. Oh, a butterfly. There you go. You said you wanted to put a butterfly on one. See, you nearly threw baby out with bath water then, when you've got a flutter by to save the day. Perfection. <laughs> These would make awesome little tabs. Awesome. I'm talking to too many American ladies saying that. Wouldn't they? Little tabs, glue two together. On top of a tag. Fabulous. Save them all. Save them all. And I need some words for there. I don't even think I need a tag on this one. The butterfly's doing a good enough job on his own. Sterling work, Mr. Butterfly. Or Mrs. Butterfly, I'm not sure. Are there, do we have misters and misses in butterflies? I really don't know. I need to brush up on my biology. Uh, what we're going to have here? You are capable of becoming more than you realise. Well, if it were in a caterpillar, I'd have put that one. Stay simple. Hmm. 
And so the adventures begin. Did it never give up? Never give up, because I nearly gave up on this one, didn't I? So never give up seems very appropriate. Oh, I nearly like, oh, that rose on that, not good. And then the butterfly just flew in and saved the day. Whee. <laughs> we don't want that upside down, we just don't. And it says Agnes there on the... <laughs> that, so it's never give up, Agnes. There you go. Never give up, Agnes. All is not lost. I don't know what Agnes's problem is, but she does really not need to give up. Old Aggie. Agatha Christie, Agatha Raisin. We've been watching both of them recently. Rachel loves a good murder mystery and a drama. If you've not heard of Agatha Raisin, if you're in US, she's like a modern day, she's a detective, private detective, she's fabulous. And my daughter's ploughing through all books, I think there's about 50 books in the series, and she's been ploughing through them now for almost a year, you No, know, since September we've got them, and yeah, she's halfway through them. Wee. Pop you on, mate. You won't let Aggie give up, will you? No. Don't give up, Agnes. And do you know, I'm saying it doesn't matter if they're coming hanging off or... And I keep putting them within the boundary. That's just something in me making me want to do that. I'm subconsciously curtailing my randomness. So that's another one. I think I'm going to do that one next. What happened to the little sideways butterfly? Do you know the one who really kept wanting to go in and act? Now I can't find him. It's a bit like kids, aren't isn't it? That when can we? When can we? When can we go? Are we nearly there yet? Then you get there, they're asleep, or you decide it's time to do something and they've lost interest. You don't go well with that. We really need the little sideways man. There's got to be more than one. Let's get some little butterflies out. I'm really into this butterflies with things. Now, I'm sorry about the butterflies. I don't think you go well with that rose. You might get changed, Rose. I don't know. We've kept Agnes, but we might be getting rid of Rose. <clears throat> I'll just stick it on. Stop waffling. Ink it. Tap it. Unwrap it. It's the chocolate holiday coming up into Easter. Now, which shape did I make the others? That one's got three. And the first one is... I've no idea. What, I've lost it already. First one's gone missing. I've, anyway, I've been somewhere. I went for glue. How have I lost it already? Oh, just crack on, woman. If you make two same, you make two same. The world will not end. Um, it needs to be a two-sided piece again. It could be top corner. Yeah, it could. Why are we only making bottom left corners? I don't know. We've made a top right corner now. Nothing against top right corners. I just somehow seem to favour the bottom left. It's not a conscious decision. There we go. Get you inked up. I refuse to have my writing going sideways or upside down though. That would be one random step too far. I think I'd have to go and have a lie down in a dark room after that. The world could indeed end. I'm just re-watching, um, you know, I say I watch all these things on telly, I don't. I have all these things in background while I'm doing other stuff. <laughs> in the background now, I'm watching Jericho. Uh, a very cheery tale about uh, a nuclear attack on USA by, we don't know yet, because I'm only on season one. Yeah. And this little town called Jericho seems to have escaped it all. But they're having a few dramas, bless them. 
Right. I like you there. So now I've done it that way, that butterfly really just is facing totally wrong way, isn't it? It's like, oh no. It's like, flowers, what flowers? I don't want to go and sit on that flower. I'm off. I don't know why, but I feel I need to have the butterfly facing the flower. And I've really messed that up now for that to happen. So, I think... Can we have it there? That just looks weird, doesn't it, sticking down there? Can we change to another flower? Or have we not got a little one left? We do have one more little one left. Oh, look at that. I think that's more perfect, look. Sorted. So you now, mate, are going on that other piece. And we'll make sure we don't put the holes in the wrong place when we do you. Yeah, yeah, done. Sorted. Find a word. Something appropriate. What we got? We've got... Do, 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 do. Live your dream with passion. Make a difference. I'm happiest when I'm with you. That's a bit soppy. No, we can't have that. Too soppy. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. Too wordy. Stay simple. Take risks. Choose to shine. Stay curious, be amazed, make it happen. Mm, be brave. I feel lucky. I think I want... Mm, be you bravely, because I want to then cut this one up again into two rows. And it's going to go on this plain bit down here. Be you bravely. Yeah. I still have no idea why I keep saying yar. So you can go there. I've got to line it up with them, aren't I? If I don't line it up with lines, it's just going to throw me off. It's really going to throw me off my game. Oh, come back. Have you got enough glue left on you? I think you have. And you can go off to one side. Be you bravely. Watch up a bit. You've got to be straight-ish or the world could indeed end. Ink these up. I've no idea how long I've been at this. Oh, I only paused it, so I have got... We've been going about half an hour. Yeah, I'm going to fly through other three. Faster than the speed of light. Bit of glue on you, yeah. Now there might be a bit of glue on bits sticking out of the way, but I can live with that. I'm quite happy I've got some rose overhanging that. Where we inked you? I can't remember. Can't see any ink. There you go, mate. Don't want to leave you out, do we? Wee. Oh, I like that. I'm quite liking these. I mean, you can use it. I intend using them as journal cards in journals. You could even put one out front. You could put a little hole in and use it as a dingle dangle. You really could. So that's that one. So we've got three left to do now. Let's bring them all down at once and let's sort of mass make them. We can mass make three at once. Am I mean, even in shot? Yeah, of course I am. Right, that's that one. I wish I could find my first one. I'm going to find it. Two ticks. I found it. So no, I haven't made two the same. We've got that one. That one's got a whole top, bottom and side. And that one had a whole top and right. So I've done a bottom left corner, a top right and a left. We could try and make a full jigsaw, really, couldn't we? We could have made a full six-piece jigsaw. Could we still? Could we? Or is that just taking it all way too far? <laughs> <laughs> no, because what we've put a hole in top of that one. We've blown it. It's never going to happen. It will never fit back together. I had that idea a little bit too late. Right, get your old punch. Punch smells. There's waffling and then there's just talking rubbish, isn't there? And I think sometimes I can <laughs> veer over into the other. 
Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put my holes. Du, 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 du. That now can't be that. Can it be that? Can I just, just do it. Just stop. Yeah, I'm going to do that. One at each side. That's perfect, isn't it, for a tall, thin flower? And then I'll have one. I'll have it at the top. Just do it at the top. Then we'll have the flower overhanging the hole. Yeah, don't forget to save those for tabs. They're going to be so cute. So that's you. Yeah, we like you. Yeah. Can I be off to one side? You are going to have... You can be a top left corner, I think. Yes, you can. So we'll put one there. And one there. A little bit over will do it. So it's one of them weird shapes. <laughs> and then the last one. I think you can have a hole either side and top. If I've already done one like that, I have. I've got these tabs on me now. That's one. Two. I don't know why I feel the need to count them. Three. Sorted. So then we'll round all the corners off. I'm getting a bit quicker at this corner rounding business. Do, 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 do. Pity the inter corner rounder that would do it, but you need to put like a right angle in them, don't you? Well, I don't suppose you do, but I'd probably make a mess of it if I tried it. It would probably end up not looking anything like a jigsaw piece whatsoever. But yeah, I think this is a really brilliant way to do them. Hats off to the fabulous lady who came up with this. If you've missed beginning at video, yeah, I don't know. I have seen this before a couple of years ago, but I don't know who did it and I can't find who did it. So if you know who did it and you can find it, please let me know in comments so I can link it. I'm doing a little bit better again at keeping up to date with my comments. I just love to answer all my comments. But sometimes I run out of hours in day. So it might take me a couple of days sometimes, but I do get to them. Whee. Oh, and sometimes what I do, and this is very annoying if I've done this to you, and it's a question. If I like the video and heart it, and then kids shout me, and then <laughs> I forget, and then I refresh my comments, that comment's gone. Without me having answered it. There's got to be a section somewhere for me to find. Comments I've liked and hearted but not answered. He. Maybe there is. I've no idea. So if anyone out there has got a YouTube channel and knows that, please let me know. It's like an appeal for help today, isn't it? Let me know this. Let me know that. <laughs> Have we done all three? I think I managed all three there while rabbiting. I'll keep that one in my hand because I'm going to ink it. I've got this song in my head. I don't know where it is. And I'm singing it very fast. Well, I'm humming it very fast. Oh, do, 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 doing it very fast. I can't believe you don't like butterflies. Oh, have you missed that earlier? One of my subscribers. I mean, I use so many butterflies and she loves watching me, but doesn't like butterflies. It's like. So the next video I do without any butterflies, I'll just title it Treen. <laughs> That's already got ink on because we were going to use it on another piece and didn't. Mass inking. Do you know, when I first started, it used to take so long about me inking. It had to be so perfect, but you don't... It's just lost. You don't see that perfect inking. I don't think you do anyway. I think there's just a look where everything's not quite perfect that makes it look better. I think so anyway. I really do. Oh, I like that. You know how there's some brown in tea dyed paper I'd used to collage. 
be do be do that song's here again i wonder if alexa's got a feature where you can hum it and she'll tell you what it is that'd be fabulous wouldn't it so again if anyone <laughs> if anybody knows if that's a feature i'm sorry if i've just activated your amazon devices It's da -da, da -da, da -da. Right, who needs a butterfly? I think you need a butterfly, don't you, mate? You definitely need a butterfly. And I'm thinking the sideways butterfly. Oh, maybe that'll go better with the red rose. I don't know. I think you look nice. You do. And you need a butterfly. I'm, I'm going deja vu now. Didn't I want the sideways butterfly with that? I did. You can have a big butterfly. Uh, I could put one at that. That's upside down. Oh, lordy. Yeah, and we're going to put the butterfly at that side this time. Could we even use orange one? I think orange one might go better with those flowers. Yeah, I do think so. So you can go there. Butterfly there. Move your little tabs out of the way, woman. You are going there, and you're going there. I think you can do it. We'll put a tick. We'll put a ticket on you, a label. We've only done a label on one, and then I sort of went all butterflies instead of labels, didn't I? But I think you need a label, mate. And I think we may need to cover your stem up with the label. That'll look good. What's that? This weekend? That's not a label. Yeah, I'll do a red label because then it doesn't... Or a brown one, maybe a brown one. I get a label and then I change my mind. No, red. I like the red. I like the red with the pink and red of the rose. So, yeah, I'm going to stick these on and then I'm going to put the words on. I'm going to find words that fit. I really am. So, we will have six of these done and dusted. I need to get those traveller's notebooks out that I've been working on. I've not done anything other than sewing the signatures. I did a few bits on one on camera and I've not done anything with others. I've got some stenciling and stamping to do on pages. Yeah, and we're talking about a month ago. And I think one of these might look nice in each one. Where would that go in? That will go in there, won't it? Yeah. I'll put a bit of ink on this label. I think this is a Tracy Fox label. Oh. Well, that were daft, wasn't it? Get your baby wipe out. Don't glue over your work if you've got dropsies like me. Luckily, there's a little bit of dampness left on that baby wipe. It saved the day. If I were my own, I'd sit right back in my chair like this and glue it and go it all over my top instead. But on camera, I tend to do it over my work, which is quite silly. I will cover page number up, world one end. I've said that about 10 times in this video. So that's that one, that's that one. We've just got this one to glue on now. Let's ink the butterfly. We'll put you on first, mate. Bertie the butterfly. We'll let your wing just stick off end, just a teeny bit, not too much. We're not going to get giddy. Yeah, I'm not quite on camera with that one, am I? I'm trying to zoom in a little bit closer. So you can see details a bit better. Eee. Right. Yeah, I like that. And all I'm left needing now is some words. So let's crack out the words again. What we're going to say on these then. Right. Be amazed. Mm, I think that might look nice on there. 
or make it happen. No, I'd be amazed. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you don't have Tim Holtz stuff, you can do any of this with digitals. You don't have to use the same stuff you see see me using, or we anyone. I mean, I've been so lucky lately. To, I've had so many lovely gifts and happy mails with all this stuff, and it's like, whoa. And then, yeah, I've got to use it. I want to use it. <laughs> Uh, stay strong. Can we stay strong? I'm not quite like, you know, I've got my label and my word at the same side, but hey-ho, that's how it's going to be on this one. Something in my head saying label needed to be opposite side to word, but it didn't quite happen like that, did it? I'll put you right up to edge and then you're not going to get in the way of the actual... Puzzle. Oh, I like it now it's on edge. I think that's just made it that bit different. And then which one haven't we stuck? This one. Well, I haven't stuck a word on, should I say? Now we can put quite a bit of wordage on this, can't we? So. Oh, I've got to put this on. <laughs> How perfect. I can't believe this is in here. Someone's looking down on me today. Did you see what this says? It's always the small pieces that make the big picture. How appropriate with puzzle pieces. So if we put it's always, and then the small pieces. I'm just practicing at the side here. Because this is quite a long phrase. I don't know whether I want... Yeah, I think I do want it to go over the stem. Yeah, I'm going to do it over the stem. And keep the last part of it in one. No. Ah, it's always the small pieces that make the big picture. That was just uncanny. Uncanny, that. So oh, we're nearly done. So I've just polished the last three off in like less than 15 minutes when it took me half an hour to do the first three. <laughs> so that just proves that mass making can save you so much time. But it's quite often when you're doing it first couple that you're not quite sure what you're aiming at, isn't it? But once you've done a couple and you're sure what you're aiming at, go ahead and do a few more. That, yeah, that's just perfect. Oh, I like that one. It's always the small pieces that make the big picture. Of course it is, especially when you're doing jigsaw pieces. Put your pin in your glue woman because you know what you like. You don't manage to put pin in. I would probably want to found it otherwise. Right, so we now have six DIY. I love them. I absolutely love them. So, I really hope you enjoyed that. Give them a whirl. Very easy. Something different, isn't it? Puzzle piece rather than just a plain rectangle journal card. And the other ones I made at the beginning, you'll see in my collage over weekend. So, thank you very much for joining me. If you have the answer to any of my many questions that I asked, just pop them in the comments below. Thank you. Bye.